Okay, this is on the Chris Jansen job, number 53396, installed on 3.9 by Jason. Um, so what we are doing is, this used to be a complete heat system. Um, we are replacing these two um, air handlers with air handlers, um, hot water coils, and you can see the old ones, they just cut and capped. Um, so I ordered a bunch of copper fittings and things, but um, our new units do not come with pumps. Um, so I will order two pumps with three quarter inch flanges. So we have our water out and our water in. So I figure we'll put our pump probably right here and um, come in here and the other one just tap back into um, our water line and this water line you know I same thing I just cut these off and put coupling in 90 well our out connection pump right here to our out our in just to the in um, so I'm going to see if Jake, um, he offered that he can do this plumbing. So I'm going to see if he can do this plumbing and he's done these and he'll know how to set these up with all the wiring with the night boiler and stuff. Um, so I'll get with him and see how we can make this work with him. Um, okay, okay, so the duct, um, we have basement unit, top floor unit, basement, top floor, so they're both pretty much the same, we're going to use the existing filter boxes on, on each, just replace the filter in the box, um, so these units, you can't come in the side with the return air. So in order to make these work, I had to make my base 21 inches tall. So um, then we have the unit, transition, and the canvas um, on both of them. Um, so I gave you a little angle to put on the front of the filter box. The unit is only 23 inches long and our filter box is 24 um, and three quarters. So yeah, just put an angle there. But yeah, our unit's gonna sit up. This will be the top of our unit. And I give you a cut line right here. And on this one, cut line on that seam. Um, this one, the unit will sit up to here. Our coil is going to be part of the unit now, so this coil is going away. This humidifier, just going to have to reroute it up into our plenum. Give you a couple feet of pipe in the 90. Um, humidistat, if, they, if the new unit lets us, um, we'll patch this humidistat and wire it into the nest thermostat. I don't see why we can't do that. Um, and it looks like we have plenty of wires going up to the stat. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? Let me go over my paper. So this one's a little out of the norm, so. Um, okay, so I'll order two water pumps with valve flanges. Um, I'll just order a bunch of different copper fittings and pipe. Um, Drain just to the floor, standard order. 
Let's tie back in the humidifier and things. Um, the electrical. Um, I looked on the data, it says it's 120 volt. So I guess we'll just use the existing switches. Um, which was odd. I've never seen a fan coil that was 120 volt, but anyway, um, told you about the humidifier already, need the existing stats. We're going to be using the existing thermostats, controls, not quite sure how to wire this up, but, um, if Jake does it, he'll probably wire it up or at least know how. If not, check with Jamie. Okay, let's look at the AC. <clears throat> so, the exist... No? The existing breaker is okay. It's a 40 amp Siemens. Um, on both ACs, so and that's our max breaker. And the break is all the way out on the east side of the house. So I will run. <coughs> okay. So uh, we have two ACs. This AC on the left is for the top floor. Um, so that's staying. The one on the right is the main floor. So we're replacing this one. I'll write it on there. Um, in a minute, my pen disappeared. Anyway, um, So we're going to reuse the existing disconnect and and we don't need a pad. We use the existing concrete pad. We're going to flush the line set and that's it. Um, yeah, okay.